Am I the asshole? For uninviting a friend to my wedding so my BF doesn't have to take care of him? Context My boyfriend Freddie and Callum have been best friends since college. They were roommates and graduated together, and all that stuff. Me and Freddie have been dating for six years and we are getting married next January. We're incredibly happy and we can't wait to have our fabulous wedding. We both deal with anxiety because we have very high profile, demanding jobs. So we agreed to have a small wedding, simple, relaxed and stress-free. I've shared spaces with Callum at my BF's family events, parties, and he hangs out with my boyfriend a fair amount of time. He's great. I like him. Here's the issue though Callum does this thing where he sits or stands very still and stares into space for a long, long, long time. Freddie told me it's a thing called catatonia, I call that just zooming out or dissociating as Gen Z said at three different words. I was wrong. The problem is that my BF usually babysits him when that happens. I mean, he stays right next to him the whole time. I thought it was like a cute, nice gesture, but on the day of our wedding, I mean, really? That sounds like the opposite of our dream day. He's even taller than my boyfriend, so just imagine a 6'4 guy just standing in the middle of our reception, next to the groom, Lamau. Here's the conflict I talked this privately with Callum, just me and him, and he agreed that he would be a distraction. He declined the invitation. I asked him to not tell anything to my BF and he said he would be too embarrassed to say anything I said please don't feel embarrassed, I know it's not your fault and we left it at that very friendly and politely. I told him he it is more than welcome to join us for a Christmas dinner, cause I know he's not close with his family, and like I said, I like him. I told my BF that Callum declined and he was disappointed but he agreed that less guests fitted with our idea of a small low-key relaxed wedding, so it was still perfect. The next day I told my mom, my sister and my maid of honor, and they were visibly upset with me. My mom said it was an assholey move and that it was ableist. But I don't think that's true because it is not really a disability and it is, I think it is more about his personality and his thing that I know is going to take a toll on my boyfriend that day. I wanted to make sure I was not a horrible person to pacify my conscience. Am I the asshole? Added I thought this subreddit was am I the asshole? Not please send me D threats and wish the worst for me and my soon to be husband. Edited to correct what I said about his disability. That was ableist. Edit too too much well deserved hate today so I'll stop with the edits and replies. Just gonna say Fred is a loving person and I should be more like him. I owe Callum a huge apology, and my Fred deserves one too, not just for my lie but also BC I know he loves California should have known better. You're the asshole because this could have easily been solved in an adult way with you, Callum, and your fiancé talking out the contingency plans. Instead you snuck behind his back and undermined his best friend. You're the asshole. Let me be clear he's not disabled next paragraph describes a disability and name and the way you brush it off. You're ableist and sensitive. He's not babysitting. He's being there for his friend. You're the asshole a simple Google search will show you it a legit disability. Dot I don't think it is his personality if it's so bad he can't control it to attend his best friend's wedding. I think your husband should have been in on this conversation. It is both of your wedding. Uda. You're the asshole. 1. You aren't in a position to define what is or is not a disability. 2. This is something that you should have discussed with your fiancé. 3. It smacks of ableism. When do you refer to someone you're going to marry in a month as your boyfriend? How is standing still and staring a distraction? He's literally doing nothing. How easily distracted are your friends and family this would bother them? What does his hide have to do with it? Why are two guys standing next to each other going to flip out your other guests? You convinced him he'd be too embarrassing to go? This is when I hope this isn't real. You're the asshole though. You're the asshole, partly for going behind your fiancé's back and pressuring the poor bloke. But it's mostly for the lol. You're the asshole. Starting out a marriage with deception, not good, not good at all. How you've treated Callum, even worse. You're the asshole. This was not your decision to make. You should have discussed this with your fiancé and he should have then got to say how he wants to handle the situation. Hun I don't understand how you cannot see you're the asshole. This absolutely is a disability and how dare you discredit him when you are not his doctor and not in his body. You are being insanely ableist. Also you are literally lying to your fiancé? Shitty way to start a marriage emo. You're the asshole if you felt the need to manipulate your boyfriend rather than talk to him you are not ready for marriage. Going behind his back, getting his best friend to lie for you, 
and pretending you are not being a bealist by disinviting someone for acting out of you preferred nor nil all prove you are in fact a manipulative, dishonest, ableist asshole who does not respect the man she plans to marry. You're the asshole. If nothing happens when Callum is in that state, there's nothing wrong with him being there and not being babysat. If he needs to be watched, let someone else do it. I'm gonna go ahead and bet that both Freddy and Callum would be happier if Callum were to come to the wedding. But it doesn't fit well with the aesthetics to have a 6'4 guy just standing there next to the groom, so let's just have him not come, right? S. You're the asshole. Do neither you nor your fiancé have a trusted third-party friend who could be asked to look after Callum if he goes catatonic? Would that not be something that you could ask a bridesmaid or groomsman to do? Why is excluding your soon-to-be husband's best friend from the wedding your first idea? You're the asshole just for thinking that catatonia and dissociation aren't actual medical conditions. Callum could have schizophrenia or schizoaffective disorder or an anxiety disorder or some other mental illness. If he's fiancé's best friend then fiancé should decide if he wants him there. Another friend could keep an eye on Callum if he has an episode. There's ways around this other than peer pressuring him into not going. You're the asshole. Obviously. If both you and Callum agree this is for the best, why are you trying to hide your involvement or the actual reason from your fiancé? Because you know he'd be pissed at you, right? If you don't want him spending the whole wedding looking after his friend, talk to him about making sure that doesn't happen. Don't make the decision for him. And definitely don't go out of your way to avoid telling him and then blurt out your super secret oh so clever plan to everyone else. If this is for real, I can't even begin to fathom the logic there. You're the asshole, I didn't know what catatonia was but I just did a Google search and it says it is a disability, well a symptom of some disabilities. So you're being ableist there. Even though he declined the invite because of that I feel you should have talked with your fiancé because he is close to Callum and he probably wanted him to be at the wedding. So starting off a marriage with a lie isn't a great way to start it off. I hear divorce bells already. You're the asshole you should have discussed this with your fiancé first. Re-enablest asshole and a liar. Starting off your marriage this way does not bode well for the future op. I hope you make this right. Edited to add. You're the asshole. You're the asshole for not talking openly about this with your boyfriend and figuring out a solution together. Poor Callum. He probably just agreed with you because he didn't want to be the one to ruin the wedding. You're the asshole for not fiscusing it between the three of you because BF will find out eventually and the longer the lie goes on the worse it will be in the end. Lies always come out especially when multiple people already know. If he actually has catatonia that he does have a disability. You can call it whatever you want like zoomies but it doesn't change the fact that it is a recognized disability. Your fiancé seems to be an awesome and understanding friend, too bad he is marrying someone who doesn't share that same understanding. You're the asshole. I typically think that most problems can be worked out, but maybe not in this case. This is a very close friend of your husband and you decided to uninvite from his wedding. You were cruel and duplicitous and I actually think your husband should not marry you. Try to see if you can make things up with his friend and for God's sake stop acting like your wedding is most important thing on the face of this earth. People are more important than weddings. You're the asshole. Uda. So what if they stand for a while? That's your chance to talk with your friends for a bit. Show off what a great guy he is and show him you're able to support him when he needs time for other people. Uninviting his friend just sounds selfish. Appreciate your fiancé's ability to empathize with someone because not everyone can. If you make him start worrying about when he can or can't be there, maybe he won't feel the need to be there when you need him. You're the asshole. Catatonia and dissociation are both serious mental health concerns. This is ableist and cruel. Edited for punctuation. You're the asshole. You disregarded his issue for a very selfish reason and got between their friendship. Do not be surprised if it is damaged after this. Uda, I hope your fiancé finds out and dumps you. You're the asshole so. You go behind your boyfriend's back and pressure his friend not to attend your wedding. Then you lie to him about it. All because you're worried his friend will ruin your dream day by standing or sitting quietly. With this level of dishonesty, your marriage is doomed from the start. For a start, catatonia is a real thing and can be caused by a lot of different things. If he experiences catatonia semi-regularly, he really needs to see medical professionals. Guess what? Calling this zoning out instead of a medical episode makes you ableist. Hiding things from your fiancé makes you an asshole. So in conclusion, you're an ableist asshole. You're the asshole. 
you went behind your so's back and guilted his best friend who has no control over his condition to not come to one of the most important events of your so's life. It's an unbelievably selfish and ah move. No way to sugarcoat this. You're the asshole. It's not really a disability really lady? How is it not a disability? Can he control it? Nobody else seems to mind at you small wedding. You kept this secret from your fiancé, it's just you who minds. You're the asshole. You're the asshole. You don't get to decide if a person is disabled or not, it's up to them how they define themselves. I feel very sorry for him being left out over something he can't control. Would you not invite a diabetic or a cancer patient? He has as little say in his health as they do. You're the asshole what's happens in other important events you'd invite friends and family to? It's his best friend since college which I'm assuming is at least over 10 years ago and he has to give up him being there for someone who wants to a simple wedding and in that simple wedding that excludes his best friend that has an issue he can't solve? He definitely only agreed because he didn't want to feel bad avoid Bridezilla. You're the asshole it's your husband's wedding day too. Let him decide if he wants his best friend there. This is eventually gonna make it back to your partner he is not going to be happy you manipulated this behind his back. You might want to come clean sooner rather than later. You're the asshole. I was with you until you said it wasn't a real disability. Also, how are you gonna work on your marriage if you can't communicate about this with your so? You're the asshole. You're the asshole you went behind your fiancé's back and made his BF feel like crap so much so that it guilted him into declining your wedding invitation. You could have approached Callum with compassion about has he seen a doctor for this at any other time but you don't care about that part you care that he takes away time from your fiancé paying attention to you. What is it about weddings that turns people into bridezillas? I get it you don't want your fiancé to spend an hour watching his friend but there had to be a better way to handle this than the sneaky way you did. Shame on you. You're the asshole. If I were your BF in this situation I would not marry you. So many red flags.